in this video i'm going to show you how to create a costume smooth gradient background like what you see on my desktop right now in photoshop and this is coming up hey everybody it's innocent here and welcome to the channel if you're new here please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here thank you so much for showing up so here in the magic world of photoshop we're going to create a very smooth costume gradient background in photoshop so the first thing that we want to do is you want to start a new project so you go to file i'm using photoshop cs6 so you go to file and then new and then you can create a new document now i'm going to choose international paper a4 and then i'll click ok we want to make this on a landscape format so i'll go to image image rotation and i'm going to flip it clockwise or anti-clockwise 90 degrees now we're going to use two basic ways in doing this the first one is we're going to go by the default approach that has been provided by photoshop that is using the gradient tool over here so first of all let's add a new layer to this particular document go and pick the gradient tool and you go to the gradient over here and then you can set any gradient at all that you want to use so let's use for instance this particular gradient over or let's go for this one that has almost all the colors and then we're going to click ok over here so from this point you know that you can actually drag and drop your gradient at any point that you want for instance like this or you can go the very horizontal way like this or any part that you want so let's stick to this particular one after you're done with this what you do is you go to filter remember it's on a new layer blur and then gaussian blur over here and then you can set your radius to about 300 or 400 anyone that that will work very best for you and then you can click on ok now this is very simple but once you're done with this you can actually press on ctrl plus u to play around with the hue and saturation if you don't want to go around and change all your colors again so if i drag the hue and saturation over here you can see what is happening to the gradient that i just set but after you're done with this as well you'd have to click ok and then you have to go to filter again to blur it once more so that it wouldn't look that very harsh so it can look very smooth like this and then you can click on ok this particular method is very simple and easy only that it restricts you to some way somehow how the colors are positioned how the colors are arranged you can either go diagonally you can go horizontally or you can go vertically but then how about if you want to create your own costume where you want to actually figure out the colors to use and the actual places to use so step number two we're going to make use of the shapes and in this case we're going to use the ellipse or the circle too so let's quickly clear this one off and add a new layer which we're going to actually add the shapes on it let's go to our shapes over here and we're going to pick the ellipse tool over here so what we're basically going to do is we're going to fill this entire canvas with different colors of the circle so i'm going to create a first circle over here a very big one like that and the advantage to this one is that it gives you the flexibility you have the options you have the the chance to actually position each shape at where you want it to be so i'm going to position my first shape over here we're going to do about six or seven make a duplicate and then i'm going to drag it over here i'm going to double click on the layer thumbnail and change the color to a different color over here make another duplicate and send it on top here I'm going to change this color as well and then i'm going to do it for the rest as well so once we're done with this different colors all together we can just select all of them press ctrl g and then group it like this but let's add a solid background to it so that it wouldn't look very very white so i'm going to add a solid color here let me go for blue so something like this and click ok here and then i'm going to make a duplicate of this group that we just made right click on it convert it to a smart object right click again and i'm going to rasterize the layer so what i do from here is that we are back to something like the gradients that we just used so you go to filter blur and then you add a gaussian blur to it as well so you realize that this one the radius is too much so you can decrease it 
something like this something like that or let me just try to increase it here so let me go for about 250 or perhaps 300 but then it all depends on the colors that you choose to go for because you realize that using these colors it looks very very kind of very pale but the focus is to get it to look very smooth like this and afterwards you can actually apply the hue and saturation that is control plus u on this and then you can play around with the hue and saturation here to get a more promising colors like vibrant colors like vibrant colors and then you realize from here that even this are uh, even new styles altogether though it doesn't look very smooth but then this when you drag it for instance to this part it is also a whole different background on its own but if you want to stick to what actually we are doing today after you get your vibrant color you need to go to filter again blur and then add a bit like a slight of gaussian blur to it so that it can look very smooth for the purpose of this tutorial so you realize that with the use of the shapes you can actually get more upper hand on what you want to do and then even if it doesn't look like what you really want to you can come back to what we grouped here and make some readjustment to it and that is the advantage to using the shapes as compared to using the actual gradient set in photoshop you can use these types of backgrounds in project and then you can also save it as a jpeg and then use it as a wallpaper like this on your laptops and other places that'll be pretty much for this video i hope you gained value out of this if you did hit on the subscribe button and please don't forget to like and share this video thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye